This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at combustion reactions of the alkanes. Alkanes react with oxygen in combustion reactions, usually producing carbon dioxide and water. Alkanes make very good fuels as they release large amounts of heat when they burn. Here we have a table of the enthalpy change of combustion values of the first five alkanes. That's methane to pentane. The first thing we notice is that these values are negative. This is because combustion reactions are exothermic with a negative enthalpy change. The second thing we notice is that the enthalpy change of combustion values increase as we go down the table. This is due to the greater number of carbon dioxide and water molecules produced as the length of the carbon chain increases. Next, we look at two types of combustion complete combustion and incomplete combustion. We'll start by looking at complete combustion in which an alkane burns with an excess of oxygen. So here we have the reaction of C3H8, which is propane, reacting with excess oxygen to produce carbon dioxide and water. Next we look at incomplete combustion in which an alkane burns with a lack of oxygen. So once again we have the reaction of propane but this time we have a lack of oxygen producing carbon monoxide and water. If the amount of oxygen is severely lacking, we can get the formation of solid carbon. So in complete combustion, there's an excess of oxygen and we get the formation of carbon dioxide. In incomplete combustion, where there is a lack of oxygen, we either get the formation of carbon monoxide or carbon. So let's end with an example. Which equations represent the incomplete combustion of methane? In equation number one, we have the reaction of methane and oxygen to produce carbon dioxide and water. The production of carbon dioxide tells us that this is complete combustion. In equation number two, we have the formation of carbon monoxide and in equation number three, we have the formation of solid carbon. So carbon monoxide and solid carbon are both produced in incomplete combustion. So the correct answer is C.